Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, boot your RM edition computers. In my case here, I don't have uh, access to the BIOS password and the boot menu. And I've come with a solution of... I don't have the password here. I've come with a solution by booting via the Ethernet cable uh, via this server. We have the server community. As you can see, I'm going to show you how to configure this server in this video. So what you're going to do, I'm going to click Ctrl Alt Delete to restart the PC. Then I'll click F12. When I click F12, it happens that we have access to the network boot options. So I'm going to power off the PC by long pressing it and show you how we configure the server here. So first of all, you're going to go to the network settings. Can go to control panel but in your case we go to control panel then we go to networks and then you go network sharing network and sharing center so the next step you're going to go and click uh, change uh, adapter settings so when you go to change adapter settings we're going to go and wait so you see your ethernet and i'm going to click the home windows r so that i can bring the run then i'll say cmd so when i enter the command prompt i'm going to look for our so i'll type in ip config then I'll see my Ethernet adapter. Uh, I'll check and see if we have a uh, IP on it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to first minimize this. Then I'll go and go to properties. Then I'll give this PC, this network, an IP. I'll go to this. Then I'll give it this IP plus the subnet mask that you see there. Then after doing that, you're going to go ahead and you close everything. You're going to go to TFP. Then you have to enable this option as I'm going to show you. Then after you have to go to, to your DHCP server then you don't click on this option then you have to input this information in the server so, so let me show you my working server and you have to follow so I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to this server So you have to wait for some few seconds. So when you reach here, the server will start. And I'm going to power on the PC and I'll click F12. So what happens here, you will see the server starting this side and then it will open the Windows side as you can see here. So here I have the folder that has the Windows files. So if we go back to this PC and you go to where my files are located, the Windows files, I've put them in this server as you can see and uh, it is in this folder so in my previous video and my next video i sh i'll show you how to uh, create the server so that you can boot so what we have here uh the windows files that you see here have windows 10 windows embedded and also windows 7 and these are the folders that you see so when i reach here i'm going to go ahead and select the option 2 and it will start loading the windows files 
and you wait and in your server this side it will be running and we are running the windows 8.1 embedded as you can see so you have to wait so if you're having issues you can still contact me for any help and i'm going to show you uh, step by step how to uh, configure this server the server community so after that uh, our windows files will load and uh, we're using an ethernet cable this cable and so when you reach here you have to input the password uh, for the user name so in our case here we happen to have our pc name so i'm going to input here it's called of input del that's the username so i'm going to input the password then i click enter and to say okay then to show me the windows files immediately after doing the process so this is how you can boot your rm education pc and other pcs via the uh, ethernet cable in case you don't know the bias password so if i click next here i'll start the normal process for installing windows files so this is what we have today so thanks for watching if this video is helpful please subscribe to this channel don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notified if I upload this video like this, have a nice time.